Is the blue screen of death telling you your PC ran into a problem and needs to restart becoming a regular occurrence for you? Chances are you have a virus installed that Microsoft like to call Windows 10 version 1909. This version was released to the public in November 2019, around the same time that coronavirus was discovered. Coincidence? I think not. Hi, my name's Matt, but you will know me as WFX Malice. In this video, I'm going to show you how to overcome these blue screens of death. Let's get started. The fix for this problem is very simple. We're going to force the upgrade to Windows 10 version 2004. If you're good with computers and know how to do this, feel free to go ahead and do that right now. I'm not going to string you along with my tutorial on something you probably could have worked out yourself. If you have no idea what version of Windows you're running or how to get this upgrade, follow along. The first thing we're going to do is we're going to check your Windows version. So you're going to press the Windows key and R for Romeo, and you're going to type in WinVer. I can't use hotkeys because I'm doing this in a virtual machine. So I have to type this down in Cortana like a spud. If you want to be a spud like me, feel free to use Cortana as well. It's the world's most useless AI. So as we can see, I'm running version 1909. Now this is what we want to get rid of. Go ahead and close that. The first thing you can try, the most obvious solution, is to go to Windows setting, go to update and security. We're going to check here for Windows updates. Now we can see I'm missing some updates. So go ahead and download any updates for your system before we proceed. Now this process could take some time, so I'm going to speed it up for the point of this video. Once that's done, if your system needs to restart, go ahead and do that. Once your computer's restart, go to Windows Start menu and go to Settings. We're going to go to Update and Security and Windows Updates. Now unfortunately for me, or for the tutorial, it's allowing me to download Windows 10 version 2004. If your screen looks like this, just go ahead and click Download and Install and job done. However, if your screen looks like this, where it says Windows 10 May 2020 update, it's on its way. Once it's ready for you, you'll see the update on this page. Follow along with the instructions we see here. Open up web browser and go to this website. Link in the description. It is a Microsoft genuine website, so it is safe to go to and safe to click on the links within. Now Microsoft are throttling this download to Windows 10. This is why we're having to go to this step. However, it's unfortunate that on the sandbox machine I used just for these tutorials, it's allowed me to download that update. So we're going to click update now. It's going to download this Windows 10 upgrade exe. So go ahead and run that. Go ahead and click update now and next and allow it to do its thing. One eternity later. Once that's done, go ahead and save your work and restart. Once your computer's restart several times, you'll get to log in. It will hang on the login screen for quite some time. So don't panic. Don't try to restart your computer. Just be patient. You'll see this screen come up telling you all the information about the Windows update. You can go ahead and click on some of those if you want to learn about it. Otherwise, in the background, there is a Windows update screen. You can go ahead and exit that. Once you've had a chance to test out this upgrade and make sure there's no compatibility issues with your system, you can go ahead and remove the unnecessary upgrade files. To do this, go to Windows Explorer, right click on your C drive and choose Properties. Clean up Disk and then Clean up System Files. Now wait for this to load, it'll take a few minutes to calculate. In the meantime, we're just going to have a look at how big that install file is on the system. 19.1 gigabytes or 19.4 size on disk. So once it's finished calculating, go and click on Windows Upgrade Log Files and then Previous Windows Installations and any other files there that look like they're going to be chewing up too much space. Click OK and then click on Yes when it comes up with the warning. It'll take a little bit to go and get rid of those because it's properly removing all those files from the background and making sure it cleans up your system correctly. Once that's done, you're good to go. Thanks for watching. See you in the next video.